Oh, Sergey, okay. I am glad to see you because that means we have another double barrel challenge. Finally. Yes, and today our challenge is going to be to find out who has it better, the American police or the Russian police. Glock and PM, Pistolet Makarova. Yes, that's what we're gonna compare, the sort of standard sidearm for the Russian police forces and for the majority of American police. Obviously in America, some police forces use different, use different weapons, but the majority choose Glock. 90% of Russian police use Makarov handgun for decades, and maybe it will continue for It new, might just go forever, again again. there's so yeah. many of them. The reliable Glock's once revolutionary polymer frame and box design have now become the standard for many semi-automatic pistols. When given the choice, American police overall trust their lives to the Austrian Glock, and that can't be due to just good marketing. With the adoption of the AK-47, the need for a bulky combat pistol seemed to fade into history and the USSR determined that a compact, self-defense-oriented pistol was what they needed for the future. So our first event is the easiest one. One draw, one single shot, cowboy style. Yes, as fast as we can. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna check this holster. I have to say, this great holster, yeah. but terrible for service. Yeah, and furthermore, I get to start with one in the chamber, and you don't. Russian police regulations, buddy. Yeah. What can I say? By the way, how do you know that? I wanted to tell you about do, it. Do, do, do. Well, let's, maybe we shouldn't discuss that. Tim, you understand that this holster is very, very slow and it's impossible to operate it very fast. Please. Well, do your best, man. I believe in you. No. Kind of. All right, I, I get feel ready. like you are smiling inside. On the inside and on the outside. And that's All not right. good. Are you ready? I'm not ready, but I'm ready. All right, stand by. Three sixty-eight, not bad. Three sixty-eight. Yes. Uh, to be honest, you might even beat me. This is looking bad. This is, this is looking uh, okay. bad. Okay. Let's let's take a look. All right. What can I see? I hit the target for sure. But yeah. you know this. It doesn't fall off. Yeah. Because it's not enough power of this cartridge. Okay, Tim. Are you ready? Yeah. Stand by. Yeah. Okay. That uh, was a little bit better. Unload and show clear. Yes. And you, sh you show great performance. 193. Uh, Actually, Sergei, quite fast. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. I don't like to lie, especially to our beloved audience. There was a lot of luck in that. There was just, it's, it could have gone <laughs> anywhere. Thankfully, it didn't go you, anywhere. You didn't see the side picture. There was, a, there was a little bit of luck factor, yeah. I just sort of was like, ah, it's good enough. The American policeman in this situation, the American policeman has a big advantage from what we've seen. I mean, you're kind of screwing around here and you've got to do all this and this and that and the other. You have a four step process and I'm just up and shoot. Put six rounds, same target, as fast as you can. Are you ready? I am completely, 100% percent not ready, but I'm ready. Stand by. Nice. Wait, something's wrong. I heard six noises, yet I only see five uh, <laughs> bullet marks. Don't yes. ruin your time. I did, dude, dude, didn't dude. pick Four the front 50, side at 455. the yeah. That's real good. If you told me that the police standards are six seconds to take the gun out and take one shot, well, you did six shots in 455. So uh, that's yeah, pretty between good. Between shots, it's a very, very small amount of time. But the thing is, dude, this is like JFK. Where did that mystery bullet go? Because I heard six pings. Really? I just missed one. One shot, and you know I didn't hmm. pick the side. That is the problem because yeah. the side in Makarov is very small. It's very tiny. It's just for 
target shooting. Yeah. When you go to the shooting range and stand with this position mm -hmm. and you have plenty of time to aim. Well, yeah, you told me that that's actually what they pro, uh, try to instruct a lot of the police officers to shoot is sort of the one-armed, uh, I don't know, British officer in Africa type of uh, shooting. And the thing is, guys, what's going to be really terrifying is I saw a video where, you know, a policeman, yeah. he was screaming at this guy who was obviously on drugs, just kind of running around like, stop or I'll shoot, please, sir, stand down, stand down. It's from a, the, the, the chest cam that they have. The guy runs on him, he goes bang, bang. Two bullets go right into like the drug addict's chest, right? Direct hits. He still got to the policeman and got to attack him. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's one of those things where uh, this is kind of gruesome, but uh, there's a reason the police often shoot more than one time. People um, sometimes think it's about the cruelty or madness of police, but no, they care about the stopping power because of they have to stop the threat. They have yeah. to stop the running man with a big uh, saw or uh, knife. knife. I think in the case yeah. I saw on the internet, it was a knife. But yeah, basically they have to stop the threat. That's why they're shooting more than one time. Because yeah. uh, apparently one time doesn't cut it. It didn't cut it in that situation, that's for sure. Now you're loaded, right? Yeah. Six shots. Six shots. And you told me you want to be safe. That's the time. main thing. That's the main thing. That's the main thing. Might be a little okay. slower, but I don't have to open that stupid uh, thing that you've got. So we'll see, we'll see. Uh, are you ready right. to lose yeah. this competition to me? <sighs> the problem is I have a feeling I am because yeah. you're very good at keeping the pistol under control and uh, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All okay, right. are you ready? Yeah. Stand by. Unload and show clear. Uh, if clear, hammer down the holster. Inefficient. Actually, you made eight or nine shots. But six hit. But the mission hit. was to make six hit and six hit. Okay, let's go. That's what I was doing. What, you think I can't count? I remember grade school. I can count. Your time is 692. 692? No, that's pretty, that's pretty uh, I was going to say a bad word. Uh, that's not good. On the one hand, I'll put it this way, it's weird, the recoil from the pistol, when you talk about recoil, people usually say it's painful or it hurts. Nah, no, this thing doesn't hurt, it's not painful, but it just goes all over the place. I'm just not good at controlling it. Yeah, it's very it's, much just like, whee! It's and that's another reason to go slower, things. because we don't want to kill any of our crewmen or uh, anything you, like you that. You can make faster, you cannot make faster following shots, because your barrel turn up or down or yeah. somewhere else. You you need time to take it back. So yeah. techniques, it's the key. Yeah, and that technique I really need to uh, practice because uh, uh, my pistol at home is a Colt 32, and that has like no recoil at all. So rare yeah. gun, by the way. Really? Yeah. Oh well, I don't know. The problem is I can't sell it. It came from my grandfather, so. Also, okay, our third event is the big one. This is El Presidente, where we're going to have to put two shots into three targets, reload, then put two shots into those same three targets. And uh, reloading is uh, definitely an advantage for you, but we'll see. But anyways, where did this come from? Why, why is it El Presidente and not the president in fantastic English? You know, this drill came from the past, from... Uh, um, Latin America, mm -hmm. from somewhere there, and it's very, very popular. Mm -hmm. The best shooters make this uh, drill for four seconds. I guess four seconds for 12 shots. 12 shots and four for, for, for reloading and etc. And uh, help has arrived. This is Dasha, who could be the first lady president of the United States with the best secret service that money can buy. Madam President, it's lovely to see you today, as always. Hi, Tim. Oh, gosh! Oh.
think you might need to invest in a better bodyguard. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I see four hits. It means that uh, you complete your mission. Yeah, not, not too bad to be honest. I have to say the one thing that is awesome about the Glock is the sight picture. The sights are big and fat and easy to see, which is uh, pretty sweet. Makes the job easy. But what do but you think still. about the recoil? What do you think about the comfort well, of shooting? Well, one thing is, here's, here's another difference between a normal guy like me and I think between a policeman. You see a policeman, right? A New York PD when they're uh, in their training, right? They go, bang, 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 bang. When you're using this gun, it really kicks. Maybe it's because I'm holding it wrong like we just talked about, but I mean, it's like boom, boom. Some sort of like that temp of shooting, uh, I'd really need to practice for that because the barrel just goes up and up and up each time you shoot. But so Glock is yeah. uh, well known as a very light handgun. Yeah, and it is. Some other guns, Smith and Wesson and some revolvers are truly heavy, twice heavier than mm -hmm. the Glock. But, but you can manage it better when you hold it correctly no. and when you train a lot like a policeman, mm -hmm. right? But in your situation, you well, don't have experience. And here's one other thing about lack of experience. Let me gently take this out again, not pointing it at anyone, is you see the bottom half is all the polymer or whatever, yes. and the top half is metal, which makes it extremely, extremely top heavy. So I think that's another thing where, when you're, you have to walk around as a policeman all day with this gun at your side. If you're gonna make the gun lighter, that's great. Less stuff to carry, less to think about, it's easier to pull out. But when you're shooting and all 100% of the weight is at the top of the gun and nothing at the bottom, it's kind of awkward. Hi, Sergey. Good evening. What kind of gun is it? Uh, this is Makarov. It was made in uh, 1966, kind of old gun, but still work. Okay. works. Let's try. Watch out! I think you are in safe now. Oh, thanks, oh. Makarov. Uh, thanks, Makarov, <laughs> ma'am. Yes, not God. I'm uh, pretty happy with my so results. Mm -hmm. As you see, the uh, shot placement is great. Yeah, and at about 10 meters. Not too bad, sir. Very nice. Not too bad. I try mm -hmm. to shoot uh, as fast as I can. And um, recoil management for this light gun is quite good. For me, well, that's probably your advantage is with the smaller cartridge because not only are you kind of better at doing that in general than I am, but I saw you shooting. It was like you weren't even moving. Just pull, 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 pull. Well, guys, the Russian police force might be facing quite the challenge needing to upgrade all the pistols in the country. But your challenge is very easy. You just have to hit the like and share and subscribe button and the little bell next to the subscribe button so you see all of our videos because we want you with us. And if you have any ideas for a cool double barrel challenge, write them in, in the uh, comments there down below and uh, Sergey and I will try to make it happen. Stay with us with double barrel challenge. Be healthy, subscribe, etc. See you again. Be healthy, drink that milk. Bang, bang, says Catfish Jeff.